Hey, Sea Wolf Community, Chancellor Sandine here with another segment of Ask a UAA Expert. Take a look. My name is Kyra McKay and I am the UAA Employee Wellness Program Coordinator for the Department of Health, Physical Education and Recreation. And I'm Zach Harrison, the UAA Employee Wellness Coordinator Intern, and we're here today to talk to you about tips and tactics regarding wellness during these extraordinary times. Why should someone be focusing on their wellness right now and how is it important to our situation? Focusing on our wellness right now is going to be incredibly important. We have been knocked out of our normal rhythm and our normal routine and that can be stressful to some people. And some people are dealing with different situations. But no matter the circumstances, focusing on our wellness is going to help us get through it. It's going to help us stay grounded so that we don't get lost in the chaos. But wellness doesn't have to be just about yourself. You can include everyone around you that is in your home, whether it's family, friends, roommates, your dog, your pet, whatever. Um, but this is going to help you focus on the needs of everyone else too so that everyone can get what they, they need through their wellness and this time. It doesn't just take one person to achieve our wellness, it takes an entire body of people oftentimes and right now we have the perfect situation with being home with our family and then using our family to help us achieve similar goals and similar objectives. What is the best way to maintain wellness right now? I want to talk about normalcy and maintaining a consistent routine. This is going to help us not get lost in the chaos that's happening all around us. We want to make sure that we keep our work week activities, our off time activities, and our weekend activities separate. Those are going to make those times that we have special into maintaining a normal routine throughout this time. So equally important to routine is diversity and creativity. You're going to have to look at your whole situation and say, look, I don't have access to the things that I normally do. How can I get creative? What can I do to make things accessible? Or what can I do to not give myself an excuse not to maintain my wellness? How can I make wellness work inside my home? Designating a space for certain activities is going to help us get into the mindset of what needs to be done at that time. Now, I go back and forth between the idea of at-home workouts because home workouts can be efficient, time manageable, hardly cost a thing, but also my home is my sanctuary and my space to relax and unwind and not do any of the stressful or strenuous things during the day. However, our home is the only place we have at this time and despite my preference for having a space to work out outside of our home, we, that's all we have right now and so we need to make it work. For those who have a house that have multiple rooms, I would suggest making each room a separate space for certain activities. So having a room or a space where you do your work, having a room or space where you do your workout, or having a room or space where you have time to relax, unwind, and be with the family. Now for those who have a smaller home like myself, we need to make the space that we have work. For example, my living room opens to my dining and my kitchen and that is really the only space I have to be in. So what I do is when I'm about to start my workout is I open all the shades and I turn the lights on. I make it really bright and exciting for me to do something that is going to be exciting, high pace, high energy. Then I move the furniture out of the way, I set up my app for my music or my workout app, and then I leave the room to go get ready and dressed for this activity. Once I enter the room, my mindset is ready for the workout and the space is set for that as well. And when I finish my workout, I vacuum the carpet, I put the furniture back, and I close the shades or turn the lights down low to make that space back to its homey atmosphere. Now when I do my work, I set up my laptop at my dining room table and I only have the dining room light on so that my focus is really on the space that I have that I set for my work. Now, we can make it work inside of our home, whether we have a lot of different rooms where we can make these spaces happen or we have to create the space around us. It's about creating our space to the environment we intend it to be. Since you don't have access to a gym, you don't have access to maybe where you do yoga classes or meditation or mindfulness things, 
Maybe you can't go to your spiritual wellness area. Maybe it's church, maybe it's family or social groups that you go to to receive that spiritual wellness. You're gonna have to do these things in the confines of your home. Take your family into this whole wellness journey with you and find ways to diversify the situation or get creative. So, for instance, if you don't have weights at home, you can take canned foods or water bottles and you can opt them in as, as a weight and say, hey look, maybe I can't go to the gym but I can still work out and maintain my physical wellness in this perspective. This is the time for you to say, yes, I don't have this, but how can I adapt myself and my environment to overall achieve my wellness? So you may be asking yourself where to get these wellness activities from. Well, I have the answer for you. So you can go on our UAA Employee Wellness page or our UAA Employee Wellness Facebook page and we have countless activities and opportunities for you to learn and grow in your wellness. So for instance, on Thursdays from 2.30 to 3, we're offering wellness Zoom webinars where we're doing wellness breaks and we're going to be conducting those with yours truly. And we're also offering activities for you to share your wellness journeys while you're at home social distancing where you can do Wellness Weekend Challenge, where we're doing things where you can provide your, your favorite meal and the ingredients and how to, how to make it and prepare it. And we're sharing those moments with one another. We're also doing the 100 miles for May, where you can join a team and try to accomplish 100 miles within a certain time frame. Um, we're also doing share your outdoor wellness activities where you're getting outdoors with maybe it's a loved one, maybe it's by yourself. Maybe just show us some pictures of your journey and your wellness with us.